I might actually show you now something slightly new. So this is a simulation that we did a few years ago of the universe. Now what we've done here is we're trying to understand how this sort of really interesting spidery pattern that you saw came about. And we can put into these big computers Einstein's theory, a bit of Newton theory, a bit of Planck theory, mix them all together, um, and hopefully come up with a simulation of the way the universe evolves and try to figure out some of these processes like dark matter and dark energy. So just recently at ICRA, we've been actually working on some of these new simulations to figure out if we can see some of this really beautiful filamentary structure evolving using new physics, using the physics of the dark energy. I'm going to show you what some of these supercomputer simulations can do. This is what we've done, as I said, was to put Einstein's theory, we put Newton's theory, we put Planck's theory together, and we've also added in some of this dark energy just for good measure in dark matter to see whether that makes a difference. Okay, so this is the early universe. This is the universe just after the Big Bang. And as the universe is expanding, lo and behold, some of this stuff starts to appear. So this is actually some of this beautiful <coughs> spider web kind of structure, which naturally evolves in a universe if you add in this dark stuff. Okay, so this dark stuff does a bit of pushing and rearranging, and it produces something which is very much like the real universe that we see in Venus. So we've got really, this is another way in some sense of supporting the idea that the universe is dominated in some sense by this dark force, dark energy, dark matter, that produces this beautiful sort of So this is a supercomputer simulation, so simulate you're actually now flying through the early universe. You're flying through the universe as it's starting to form structure, as this condensation process is actually going on. And this sort of stuff is possible with a very, very, very large supercomputer. You can actually evolve with mathematics and all sorts of interesting physics, um, the actual evolution of galaxies. So these are galaxy-sized objects. These things here are galaxies, okay, and small galaxies and large galaxies. And this beautiful sort of spider with the sort of filamentary structure that goes through the entire universe. 